As the money yeah. changes hands, I say, and here's your change. As the oh. trombone case falls away and the shotgun flies. Hell yes. Fan friggin tastic. Hello everybody and welcome to the Stream of Chaos. My name is James and I am the Keeper for this game of Call of Cthulhu. We are playing Mist Jews, which is a scenario from the Call of Cthulhu Keeper screen pack for 7th edition. This is our second scenario of Mist Jews and you can catch up with the other one on YouTube. I'm joined, as I always am, by this fantastic cast of players, and I'll get them to introduce themselves in just a moment. But first of all, I would like to thank Roll20 and Sirenscape, tools which we use to improve our games. Let's hear from our wonderful cast. Dave, do you want to start us off? Hell yes. Uh, g'day, I am Dave, and I am playing Wesley Smood O'Grady. Smood, in a sense, a sandpaper. Um, I am a hoodlum, a gangster, and I got my eyes set on a leadership position. Most recently, I am panicking as we have beheaded a corpse. Your your new uh, <laughs> your move towards upper management is going just fantastically. It's great. Um, Art, do you, exactly. Art, do you want to introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Art, and I'm playing Eddie Loach Kelly. Do not make that joke again. Uh, I don't actually know why he's called Lurch. Because there's no good reason for him to be called so. Uh, <laughs> but um, Eddie is one of the two Kelly twins uh, who has just finished casting his first Mythos spell uh, and is moderately concerned about the well-being of his sister. Which is fair enough because uh, his sister isn't doing so great. Jackson, do you want to tell us about yourself? Well, I'm Jackson, and I'm playing Wendy No Nonsense uh, uh, Kelly. Mm -hmm. Kelly, yeah. <laughs> uh, We're the Kellys. We are the Kellys. We're the Kelly twins. Um, who is not doing so great? <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, looked into some things she shouldn't have, as all investigators do in good time. Um, but she'll stumble on out. Stumble on on. We'll carry on with uh, her hat that doesn't quite fit because I don't have my earphones that I did last session. So <laughs> she had my hat over my headphones. I wanted to head that off before I got any mean comments. <laughs> <laughs> Poke fun at yourself and no one else will have time to. Fantastic. That's right. um, uh, you took a bit of damage last session, didn't you? What exactly uh, happened? Me mental and physical, it's fair to say. Um, I got some mental damage from uh, seeing the, the Court of Azathoth, and then I got some physical damage from jumping through a window trying to escape the the, the, the Court of Azathoth. <laughs> really, so I guess it's really the same injury. Never fear though, your brother is here to keep you safe and all shall be well. Thank for goodness. those of you, exactly, for those of you just joining us or who need a refresher, the story so far is that our investigators are all gangsters in the Arkham area working for a crime boss called uh, The Hammer O'Leary. Leary uh, has gotten very annoyed that a local housebreaker called Sticky Jack has not been paying dues. That, that's the title of the scenario. Oh. Yeah, you see it? I know. It's Fantastic, everywhere. Right? Yeah. Um, so to try and extract some kind of payment or value out of Sticky Jack, uh, O'Leary has ordered our three investigators to track down O'Leary and to retrieve either money Sticky that he Jack. got for the goods that he stole. Sorry, yeah, Sticky Jack, uh, extract money from that he got from the goods that he stole or to get the goods themselves. Our investigators went through Arkham trying to track down exactly what was stolen and where Sticky Jack might be. Eventually they figured out that Sticky Jack has been working for a strange third party called Jacob Smith, a Southern man who seems to run some kind of church in town and that the artifacts that were stolen all appeared to be kind of occult or arcane in nature. They arrived at Sticky Jack's apartment, which had been overwhelmed by the forces of chaos and Eldritch Bizarreness. They wandered through, managed to survive, had to kill Sticky Jack, who was refusing to die. They have retrieved the artifacts and we will jump back into the story. 
it is uh, as you come out of the apartment block. It is now night, so the sun has set, um, and you can see, you know, the stars in the sky above you, which have taken an almost sinister aura now that you know almost. some of what is lurking out behind them. Uh, the streets around you are dark, except for a faint bit of yellow light coming out of the various second story windows of all the buildings around you and the faint blue and white lights uh, of approaching police. As I say that, it occurs to me that I don't know whether the police had the blue and light siren things going yet in the 1920s. I don't think they do. So forget those blue and light, white, li uh, blue and blue and uh, red lights. Instead, there's a loud ah, ah, coming from a siren as police cars rapidly approach. In your arms, you have a body, a bunch of stolen artifacts, and the collection of you are just covered in blood. What would you like to do? Uh, we wrapped the body in a rug as well. Just or like That's I think true. like yes. if it was in the bathroom, we like tore down those shitty plastic shower curtains. Uh, and he's wrapped, he's bundled up in that. Um, and who's the who's the biggest of him? Of us, sorry. I'm sixty. Uh, I, I think I can probably carry no. him unless someone else wants him. Strength forty, size fifty. Forty-five. I'm not massive. I feel like Loich seems like a big fella. Loich, you gonna Loich on over? You're muted. I'm muted, I am, in fact, uh, size 60, strength 45. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I did, I okay, did make, well, that case. the description of Eddie is that he is gaunt. String mm. bean. He's not a strong fellow. He's got nimble fingers. Excellent. All right, well, that case, as I picture it as, because Wendy went out the fire escape and then Eddie <laughs> after, to, like, and then down, I think Wesley, like, wrapped the body in the the um, the um shower curtain and then dragged it down the stairs, going, like, boom, boom, boom. Oh, boom, my boom, God, down yeah. Down every level um, until I get to the doorway and I'm dragging it out uh, as, the, as we all reconvene and we can see the lights coming from the distance. Um, That's absolutely perfect. This isn't one of those situations where one of you is massively strong and you've just swung the body over your shoulder. No, you're like dragging it horribly. It's bonking down the stairs. You're practically leaving a trail of like dust from the carpet. Um, it's not fantastic. Okay, so uh, clearly we got to get this guy back to the hammer. We've got all the equipment and things. So as soon as we're back at the, you know, the bakery, everything should be squared away, huh? Can we lie low for a bit? Lie low. I mean, just to the heat sauce. What the fuck's going on around here? Uh, it, yeah, and he starts bolting. Okay. I can't fucking roll with this guy. Get the hell back here. <laughs> I'm like dragging him across the uh, the garden in plain view of every, anyone looking out a window. <laughs> Okay, fantastic. Someone so, help me move this guy. Who's scarpering and who's staying to help with the body? Wesley, you're staying, you're trying to drag it by the feet. I'm I'm out and I'm I will do my think... utmost to drag my sister with me unless she has inclinations to the the not running. I think it's gonna take all three of us to move this thing. Okay, so Eddie is pulling you by the shoulder, trying to get you to move away, but you can see Wesley go, ah, trying to drag his body. Uh, Leave the is... fuck. We need him to clear our names or to finish no, this assignment we... or whatever. No, we don't. We just oh. need the items. We've got the items. Let's go. Oh, I, no, I... I am bringing this body. I'm not messing with the hammer again. After that whole missed shipment thing, I'm going to be screwed if I don't come back with this. If he doubts Eddie, this I... story, and it's cagey uh... as it is, Great. Well, then think, you can you can go to prison. Wendy, come on. This, and I'm I gonna. Think it's, this fucking evidence. Ain't this what cops look at? There's bullets and shit. And I'm pretty sure if fingerprints can be detected in this time period, mine are all Eddie, over him. Eddie, yes, this guy yours. doesn't shut up. This guy doesn't shut up. If the police get him, he's gonna sing. We gotta help him. <laughs> all right. So I'm assuming you're diving in, then, Wendy. Yeah, uh, I'm not diving. Yeah, you but, gradually uh, pick up the other helping. side of the of the body, and um, Eddie, you're standing aside, looking at these two who seem determined to get caught. Uh, are you going to grudgingly assist, or are you going to dart to the side? What's the plan? I don't leave without my sister, so I guess I am going along with this godforsaken plan, and rest assured, someone is going to, uh, pay for this, and it ain't gonna be me or my sister. Oh, uh, fantastic. All right, so you uh, move in, and the three of you grab the body, and you start hurrying away. Okay, so the first thing I'd like is I'd like a, uh, strength check 
from one okay. of you. And since two of you are helping, you can all uh you can all you can roll two bonus dice. And this is you trying right. to move the body away. So this is a pretty uh, this is a pretty good roll. Should be fine. I'd like I think there's like a um like one of those like fences that block off a yard somewhere and our strategy is going to be to get him over that and then we all hop it to get out of line of sight but the body isn't like rigid it's floppy so we're trying to like <laughs> get a leg up under it and just get the bulk of it over the thing so we can topple it into the next door neighbor's yard um am i good to roll or does someone else want to take it i've got 45 strength i think that's the highest we've got oh my god strength it's, it is. It's, it's you or me we're both right, here we go track. I take oh, ownership of this body. All right. Ooh. Oh, that's pretty good. Bonus you... dice. I will not take that. <laughs> and there we go. Same again. So a uh, success. So the three of you are all gathered around trying to push this body over the fence. You know, it, you, it's sort of drooping on one side. You manage to roll it over and thump, it comes down. You all scramble over the fence, trying to get out of line of sight, just as these cars begin to tear around the corner and uh, arrive outside the house. You can hear the sirens now echoing. This is bad. The collection of you are, you know, the way that um, the law enforcement works back then is it's pretty hard to track down people who are gangsters but if you get caught not only can you be tried for this you can be tried for about eight other things that are sort of that on shit. the radar but they haven't exactly run into you in a while so it's not looking real good as you glance around desperately trying to think of your plan you talked about heading back to the bakery which will be open pretty early you know as bakeries tend to be or also uh, it's a front exactly yeah um so you can talk to uh, o'leary there the critical problem here is that Arkham is a city that is divided into two halves over the river and the bakery is on the other side of the Arkham River so you will need to get across a set of large bridges that go through the center of the town across to the other side if you'd like to make it that's kind of a problem for in the future because in the meantime you he can hear the cops yelling you can hear a couple of them start running down the street you can hear people in the buildings yell they went that way and things like that so there's going to be some kind of search i would like the collection of you to put forward some kind of plan here is the plan just make distance get as far as you can are you looking for somewhere to hide actively are you going to try and like talk your way out of this What's your what's your solution? As you're all crouched down behind the fence, you have a minute or two to talk and figure out how you're gonna how you're gonna avoid this situation. Okay, so step one, we gotta get away from these cops. Step two, across the river to the bakery, and then we're done. All right? Anyone sees us at the moment, we are covered head to toe in blood, so we will be shot and arrested. Uh, ideas, in ideas, order. people, ideas. Yeah, most likely. You asking us for ideas? You are the boss. Oh, Grady, you made that very clear. Okay. You got a problem. Okay. You fucking fix it. All right. Problem. You want it fucking fixed? <laughs> you bring in Wesley O'Grady. Uh, Wesley reaches back onto his t-shirt and begins to wrench it up and over his head, uh, tumbling a little bit into the bushes. And once he gets it off, it's covered in blood. He spikes it under a bush and he goes, there, go <laughs> find that evidence, losers. Uh, lose the bloody items. Let's go. All right, uh, with that, I think Wesley starts stripping off like coats and shoes and bits of got, clothing. Like, I think and... I'm still wearing like my pants and my shoes, but I think the bulk of it was on like a, a, yeah. a t-shirt at the front. I'm like chucking that into a ball and kicking it under a bush. Perfect. Uh, the twins, are you gonna are you gonna try and lose the bloody outfits? Uh, we can. If there's a coat I can throw off, then that's a start. But all right, uh, brilliant. All of you, you can add on yeah. or something. All oh, of yeah. you make a disguise check. <laughs> Jeez. Oh. Well now, there's yeah, a thing. Right. <laughs> okay, all right. You start throwing off clothes. Twins and... to the end. Look at that. I think. I think. I'm gonna be honest. I think like Eddie probably gets like rid of the worst things, but Eddie's not going for. Eddie's just gonna try and not be seen. It's, yeah, that, that's yeah. fair enough. This is just a first step. Um, uh, for, for, and, and you will absolutely have to rely on not being seen because as things I, are... Got, where you... I took the shirt off, I've got like blood on this part of the hand and it just goes to like nothing and just white skin for the rest of it. <laughs> that's phenomenal. Um, so, uh, so yeah, basically you, you've got... 
you, you, you're, you're trying to throw everything off and you turn towards each other. Those of you who have managed to like ditch the clothing that had blood on it, clearly look like something's wrong because you're now like missing a shirt or missing a shoe. Or, so it's, it's really not very, uh, if they were looking for suspects, people's <laughs> eyes would immediately be drawn towards you. So um, uh, you could all push the rolls if you'd like. Uh, but I would, I would oh, recommend, uh, you know, you're, you're running short on time. So it's looking like you're going to have to find out some other kind of tactic. Your defaults are going to be, unless you can think of a, a, another situation, I'm going to say, all right, the police are eventually going to get here and you're going to have to make a break for it. And we're going to proceed to a chase. Or you can try and uh, sneak out and try and find a pathway through. And if you fail there, you'll likely be in a worse position than if you had just broken for it. But see how that goes. I'm gonna grab my jacket back and put it on and palm my pistol into like just a pocket or something so we've got it. Just who's carrying the dagger and the, the letters and things? And it's in the violin case, is that right? Uh That's not I a bad think idea. The, the dagger is in like the back of my pants. The the papers and everything are in the violin case. I believe okay. it was a trombone. Sorry, yes, the trombone. <laughs> okay, so uh, uh, do we want to make assume... a fucking break for it? Sorry, go ahead, Eddie. I, I was asking, I'm assuming that Wendy still has her shotgun out, because it's not oh, I better put it away. You can put papers and a shotgun and a trombone case. It's roomy. Yeah, just how long will that take? What? 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 Cool, great. Done. <laughs> right. You hurriedly okay. put your shotgun away with the papers and the collection yep. of you gather up at the edge of the yard. You can see now a collection of police that are starting to check in all the houses and peek behind fences. Um, a dog starts barking really inconveniently next to you because that feels like a thing that would happen. And they're Shut heading up. towards it. Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> okay, so here's what I see, all right? We can try and just make a break for it, but we're lugging sticky jack who is definitely not skinny jack over any fences we meet <laughs> we can try and split up and sneak or one of us can try and make a distraction get the others to chase after him and then we all reconvene somewhere else hmm. you offering okay. yourself as a distraction I, I not necessarily but sure i can do it i ain't never been caught in a crime not one that you know not red-handed as such did you check that house at the end? No, I'm gonna go over there now. As the police start closing in, we need a decision okay. fast. All right, all right, all right, all right. We're committing. All right, we're committing. Eddie, your job is keeping those daggers and those papers safe. Wendy, you're in charge of the body. All right, but the two of you carry that together. Get it towards the river. We'll all meet near the docks. I'm gonna make a distraction or something. You move while it's hot. Sound good? Sound good. All right. Brief See you on the nod. other side. Okay. <laughs> Fantastic. You turn away. Uh, the other two of you stack up. What's the distraction going to look like, Wesley? This I got to see. <laughs> um, I'll give you I give you like 20 seconds and then we got to bail. I, I run out. I, I run into the middle of the street, like under the flickering lamplights. And I yell, hey, assholes, that apartment building ain't Euclidean. And then I run. <laughs> <laughs> the, the the police turn and for a minute they just don't know what's happening because why would why would the person they're chasing run and scream at them and then you start bolting and they go hey 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 and they start running after you uh, a couple of them start darting backwards towards the cars uh and you're immediately darting in between I've, also, I've got like a jacket on over like my skinny frame there's a gun just loose in one of the pockets so i just start sprinting down the street as fast as Feet i can slapping against the road uh you can hear the cars start up the two of you mm -hmm. uh you give it 20 seconds and then everyone launches into action so first of all i would like uh from uh, so are the two are the two of you taking the body with you? Yeah. Okay. Fantastic. Yeah. You, all right. Wendy gives Clear you a look. Your instructions. That's all we got to do. All right. In which case, let's get the um, let's get the two of you to both make uh, dexterity checks, and this is just general speed, trying to get away from the area as quickly as you can. Considering that you are traveling with the body, uh, I think this is going to be a hard check. Uh, both of us? Yes. <laughs> okay, so we could look at some 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 luck there, or you could push the roll. Um, and I think to to me that would be 
Uh, oh, well, first of all, are we looking at luck? Would the two of you like to luck that down? Uh, well, Eddie just needs 12 points. Yeah. 12 points? Yeah, I'll, I'll give you 12 points for that one. Sold. Just one of us needs to succeed, or, you know, I, regular I, success I, and a hard. That's reasonable. Please. Oh, but it was, oh, that, a, was, man, that, was that, that a push, <laughs> Eddie? Oh, no, luck. No, Fantastic. that was yeah. me yeah. accidentally yeah. clicking luck instead of editing oh, it. Oh, it so that... oh, oh, you roll a one. Oh, that was perfect. Oops. Now I am sad. I cannot use that one. We'll come anything. back for it. We'll come back no. for it later. Could have used okay, that. Okay, brilliant. So the two of you start darting through the streets at top speed, and this is really like... You know, as the chaos comes to one side, it's kind of quiet over here. You guys are shuffling along with the body, doing that awkward sideways walk where your feet keep crashing into each other as you go. Uh, just slowly moving through suburbia as the sounds of barking dogs uh, gradually fade away um, and you vanish did, off. Did he say non-Euclidean? Yeah, it's a $10 word for a 50 cent dude. <laughs> 50 cents? Jesus, you're being generous today, Wendy. <laughs> Meanwhile, uh, you are sprinting down an alleyway between two houses, Wesley, with the sound of police behind you. Your gun is like flapping against your side. You're My shoelaces you haven't... came undone while I was undressing, <laughs> so one of them's yeah. kind of like dragging behind. Oh, uh, absolutely. This is this is awful. I would like you to make a constitution check for me as we break out into a chase. Go, baby, go. Ah. Okay, uh, I'm not so fantastic. <laughs> as well. What is <laughs> what is I your humble smoking or start? Oh, I don't shit. know which. <laughs> oh shit! Can uh, I push this, or is this? Uh, just for the I do setting? not believe that you can push uh, chase rolls at the beginning. No. Um. Mm. So so, what is your um? What is your movement speed? My movement rate is seven. So this will move it to this will bring it to six. Okay. So so not fantastic, but yeah, don't worry. I'm the bad. Arkham Police movement speed is wait is your are your are both your strength and dex lower than your size sucks to be you yeah <laughs> in so many ways it sucks to me be <laughs> well on oink, the plus oink. side uh, the Arkham Police also have a move speed of six because okay. they 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 have a size that is bigger than a strengthened. Uh, so that means you're well. actually so having a chase. At you least. are actually having a chase, uh, which would have been low really... speed chase. <laughs> you're running through, uh, uh, and they're just sprinting after you, kind of yelling, "Hey!" Uh, tearing around. Now you look at you're looking at the houses behind you. You've basically got a couple of options here. You could make. Uh, towards the, the the center of town, which is for you, it's going to hit the the Arkham River, um, and there's like docks around there. There's plenty of places to hide. That's kind of like tight claustrophobic. You're going to be relying on stealth, um, maybe losing people in alleyways. Uh, but there'll also be a, like a lot of people around, so you maybe could like hide there, or you could head out further towards the outskirts of Arkham, where there's more like wide open road. If you trust your athletic ability, you might be able to outrun them. All right. Uh, in which go, case, let's go for the let's go for the streets. Okay. So you start turning left and you start weaving uh, through the streets, heading further and further towards the center of town with these police just moments behind you. I'd like you to make a choice here. I want you to either make for me um, a dexterity check, and this is going to be you kind of like vaulting some fences, getting through, uh, breaking out uh, from the sort of suburbs into the city proper or I would like you uh, to make a constitution check. And this is going to be you just making a flat sprint. And I want to give you the choice. I want to give you the choice. This is, just getting, be... this is getting to the, 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 place the right city snake, itself. Right? This is, this is, yeah, this is putting some, some distance. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll do constitution. Mine's much higher. So I guess I'm just flat running as fast as I can. Um, Perfect. <laughs> barreling straight through bushes and shit. Fail. Do you hit a wall? Yeah. Uh, okay. No, you, but fortunately you, you, I think that, I, Wesley strikes me as sort of, uh, you know, not quite comic, but, you know, you're, like uh, floppy, I guess. So I think you are falling a lot, and there's a lot of like yeah. tumbling into bushes and pulling yourself back out as you continue to run through. Right Why on Why is field. there broken glass everywhere? Uh, uh, the oh, police. No. <laughs> they're getting uh, on me. Uh, they're, they're, I don't think they actually gained with a hard success, no. but they are keeping pace. Uh, so, so they're fo following uh, the fences after you as you move further and further forward, desperately trying to get away until at last you cross one wide open street and suddenly you can see a mess of alleyways in front of you. I would like you to make a stealth check. I know this is your immediate opportunity. You start uh, weaving through the streets, trying to do whatever you can to lose these people. Okay. Um, 
Uh, I'll make a stealth check. Uh, how many of these cops are chasing me? Is it? Do I get the impression that it's all of them, or is it just a few? Um, uh, a pre there's probably about five of them that have maintained okay. the chase up to here, and the rest have gone to um to to, to the cars. Here's a merry little chase. Zip. <laughs> okay, that? fantastic. That's pretty good. Um, so the police. Let me check what they're. Okay, so they are going to try and make a spot hidden check against you. Mm, on account of I'm hidden. Exactly. Now they are pretty good at I this. See. Uh, it, it, not good enough. Uh, how do not you? How do enough. you? How, how, how do you gain on them a little bit? Like, what hiding place do you find where you manage to avoid a couple of them? Uh, I think it's like as we're as we're sprinting down, I go like quick side street and I turn down the side street and it's just open. There's like nowhere to hide, but there's a couple of automobiles nearby. So I skid to the ground, like scuffing up my arms a little bit and getting a couple of cuts, and I roll underneath one of the cars just enough for a few of the cops to go sprinting past before the dogs like get my scent and come running back towards me. But by that point, I've shimmied back out from under it and I'm bolting back the way we came. Okay, and you sprint and you're running this time back out onto the main street, uh, turning left, then right, and you start sprinting along. Um, I, I, I'm i gonna give you two options and I want you to think which one's best for you. You can try and navigate. This is taking the best route to just put oh, distance. You know these streets not. like the back of your hand. Um, or alternatively, I would like you to make a climb check. And this is you spot like a passage towards an overpass and you're like, all right, up straight there and then I can get across. Uh, I, I will take to the overpass. I think I see like a, a chain link fence or something and just full sprint, full sprint, hurl myself at it, latch on and just start to like scramble up it like a monkey. Okay, um, fantastic. Climb. <laughs> oh, you are doing much better than I thought you were going to do. Much better than I have any right to do. <laughs> okay, scrambling up the chain link fence onto the underpass. So this is one of the bridges actually in the center of Arkham uh, that you're moving towards the base of. And the police are sprinting, oh, but no! they're still on your tail. <laughs> Just managed, no you have way. put some distance between them. Uh, but this time, as you get up and you start to run, you're kind of trapped. There's no real way for you to go <laughs> as you start splinting along the bridge and they're chasing right after you. And you know, in the distance, you can hear the sound of the sirens as you move across this bridge in the center of Arkham. Uh, one passageway ahead of you, uh, looking left, looking right, frantically trying to think of something. I'm going to ask for one last constitution check as you just sprint forward at full speed or it occurs to you as you're running. You're, you glance to your left once and you can see a large drop off the side of the bridge into the water. They can't follow you there. It looks like you'd survive. I, uh, I, I run, it's along the bridge. It's got those like lampposts and shit that like shine a little bit of light on the area. I, look, I vault up onto the railing and stand so I'm holding the lamppost and I wait just until the cops get kind of close enough and I go, you're gonna remember the name Wesley O'Grady. It's gonna get real important from here on out. And then I drop backwards, uh, down, rushing down towards the water and just pray I'm not gonna die. <laughs> oh my God, he jumped as they rush towards the edge. Um, uh, one of them says, what an idiot. And it's the last thing you hear before they can what jump an idiot. check. What was his name again? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what do you want? Swim? I, jump? I, I would got like no a points jump. in any of them. So. I would like a jump check to start yeah, with. Yeah, sure. That'll do. Jump A. 20 points. Ugh. Okay. Um, so you are tumbling <laughs> down. Uh, this is That's going... That's I realized. It's got like the pontoons where they've got, you know, like concrete on them <laughs> at the edges. Uh, this is going to really hurt. If you push yeah. the roll, you might be able to make it into a smooth dive and not take any damage, but you'll get dangerously close to the pontoons. <laughs> Uh, and it's, it's a penalty for just failure damage. Da it's going to be damage. Can, it'll be, a, it'll be a chunk of damage. I think I'll take okay. a hit, please. Okay. As you go tumbling down towards the water and then slam from one of the heights of these Ooh. bridges in Arkham, uh, you were going to take a D8 of damage. Just smack! Oh, no. I don't have a backup character, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll roll it. One D8. Here we go. So it's also like, so I go tumbling out. Wait. It's pitch black late at night. What's I your... slam into the water. Wind knocked out of me. And then suddenly I'm tumbling underneath the rushing black water. It's freezing cold. And I ain't got a, <laughs> I don't have a shirt on. What's your, what saying? Um, Sorry, what's your uh, major wound? Uh, my major wound is six. Oh, good. I have 13 Enjoy. hit points, so. <laughs> 
Oh Ooh. my god! Okay. We're okay. Boom! We're okay. We're and okay. you were We're being okay. pulled and you were being dragged this way and you were being dragged that way. The wind is pushed out of your lungs, but you are still, <laughs> you break the surface uh, and you are being shoved by the water. It's pitch black, you're not wearing anything, it's freezing. I want a swim check. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> Home free. Oh shit, that's a and fumble. That is a fumble. No. <laughs> she starts to uh, and uh, go one way or the other. A wave catches you in the side. Uh, you, you start swimming, frantically grabbing for everything. And uh, I have just, uh, just for a moment, um, you 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 can see the shore. You start to make your way towards it. Then there's a great swell. And you see a great rising black wave above you, and then nothing. Come Why is there you. a wave in a river? Uh, <laughs> uh, it's choppy. Surf's you know? up. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're, uh, it's, it, you're, what, you're, it, the river comes out to the ocean. Yeah. Also, um, like boats and shit. Boats creep. No, not yeah, waves. Maybe there's, maybe smell. there's someone screwing around in a cigarette boat or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. Okay. Fantastic. Meanwhile, we're gonna jump Meanwhile. away, uh, and the two of you are still moving this body, um, heading further and further. Uh, what's going on? Uh, you've broken away, you've mm. made it to safety, kind of. The police are not immediately on your tail. Where's your first port of call? Uh, well, I guess we, uh, should we drop this straight off to O'Leary? I, is the bakery gonna be open? Like, I mean, we can, we can if we can get there, but we gotta sure get over the bridge. Yeah, it's still pretty late and you still have to get over the bridge. So those are the two things. Like you, you The big problem is going to be carrying a large rug. I mean, you could do it. It's just going to be a risk. There'd be a roll or something. Someone mm-hmm. might notice you. I mean, do we know which bridge that uh, uh, Eddie went? Not Eddie. Uh, Wesley went over? Uh, at this stage, you don't. You took a completely different direction. You might when you see all the cop cars and the police boats trying to find the corpse, but we'll, uh, we'll see. We'll do. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll try to find which bridge he, he went over and then not do that one. That's or a good start. We could, just, we could just, I don't know, get a car, bundle this guy in the back, drive over. Like, it, we can we can avoid it altogether. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Let's, uh, you got anyone you can call? Perhaps with a credit rating check. I could try. Is that something yeah. we could try? Let's see if Can let's we... see if you you you've got a contact. No, Absolutely. Yeah. Make a make a make a credit rating check. Each of us. What? Just 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 one of you, I think. I got twenty five. I also have twenty five. So, what do you? Oh, want? it's like your twins. I know. <laughs> um. Feeling lucky. I'll give it a go. Okay. Why not? <laughs> Oh, okay, oh, fantastic. Oh, yeah, you, you, you've got you've got uh, someone who owes you a favor around this area. You 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 got them out of a, a sticky situation one time. Uh, why don't you why don't you make up someone with a terrible oh. gangster name and tell me how you how uh, you how you helps them? What do they owe of you? Of course, for? this is um, where we're we're going to talk to Paddy uh, Chains O'Flaggerty. <laughs> Paddy Chains O'Flaggerty. All right. Yeah. From strength to strength. Yeah, uh, <laughs> what a name. Uh, Paddy O'Flaggerty, a, 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 a friendly German man friends. who, uh, you know, Chains. Okay, no. Um, yeah, tell tell us about um, tell, how did you how did you rescue Chains? Oh, uh, I got him out of a tight spot. I got him out of his chains. Uh, he was. Uh, was he I, I, yeah. Well, yeah. I busted him out of a uh, of a of a paddy wagon once upon a time. Um, Fantastic. You know, just walking down the street, I heard his heard his cries, heard his wailings for help, and like the incredible heroine I am, um, got him out of a sticky situation. Fantastic. Uh, in which case, you know that Chains lives nearby here, and you start to weave between a couple of streets until finally uh, there is a you know rather nice house. You're in the suburbs. Chains has been doing pretty well for himself recently. Um, you get over and start you know knocking quickly at the door. Um, after a while, it opens a crack, and you can see a single eye poke through, and then lower down a, a, the small barrel of like a pistol. But then uh, you hear chains go, "Oh my god, no nonsense! Oh, it's good to see. Well, give me a second. <laughs> opens a door with a bunch of chains on it, and motions you both inside. <laughs> the twins are um, good to good to meet you. Uh, leads you through. Um, uh, as you walk in, you will hesitate and like see the rug and shoot you both a quizzical look. Call in a favor, Chains. Oh, 
Okay, well, look, I'm happy to repay it. No questions asked. I was going to uh, ask if you wanted to, you know, sit down and a chat and maybe a drink, but I guess that this is, yeah, okay, not the time. Uh, nice just to need meet to ride you, a, though. Uh, just Eddie, need to ride across. What? Yeah, that's Eddie. Uh, that's Eddie. <laughs> nice to meet you, Eddie. Okay, uh, right across town. The resemblance? It's striking. Um, uh, right across town. Okay, uh, you want me to drive yours or? Uh... Might be best. Okay, okay, all right, come along then. Um, and it'll take you towards a small garage where there's this like little um, kind of dark green car. Um, he loads in uh, to the front seat and the two of you squeeze on the back. Um, Quick question. I'm just gonna ask, uh, you got like a spare shirt and like a bathroom real quick? Yeah, yeah, uh, upstairs, we're gonna need to, and he's like looking at the body and looking at the very small car. We're gonna need a thick logistics here anyway. Cool. Yeah, does, does the car have a boot? <laughs> um, so, you, you first of all, you go upstairs, you change, you can both um, get your, your bloody clothes off uh, <laughs> um, and wash yourselves up a little bit. So the, this is this 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 type of car. It's got enough seats. Uh, it has a boot, but the boot is not big enough to fit someone in. It's like for a bag. It's like a single thing that you would open up. There are four seats here: two at the back, two at the front, um, and there's four people in the car. The problem is, is you really don't want one of them to take up an entire seat. So uh, I mean, your options are here: you like put you put uh, Sticky Jack on one of the seats, still wrapped up in the rug, or you kind of like both sit in the back and try and lay him across your legs, and it's going to be quite cramped, and just hope you don't get pulled over. But like, are those too much? We really need to take him with us. Oh, Larry wanted to see him. I think that's the best chance we have of doing the job right, doing it once. You guys want me to take you to the hammers, is that right? Yeah. Okay, okay, I, I can do that. Uh, who is the poor, the poor bastard? How does Sticky Jack? Yeah, I thought he was uh, hanging with some kind of new crew. I just look at the rug. Okay, well, <laughs> I, and I condemned that. Hanging with new crews, not a good thing to do. I, I'm the hammer all the way. You know that, don't you? Don't you both? Likewise. Great. Prove it. Okay. So, uh, how are we gonna do this? How are we gonna get the body in? <clears throat> we, we, you, you gonna hold him on your legs, or you want us to put him in a seat? Don't go to trunk. I, they're not big enough. Nah, I, I mean, unless you want to chop him up or something, but that's a whole, it's a whole extra thing. I think just put him on the floor, and we'll sit on top of him. Okay. Okay. Well, good luck. And uh, lays the body across the back seat, and the two of you kind of can one of like if we if there's space enough for four. Yeah. Can we kind of get him on the floor of the back, and one of us kind of wedge in there, and then another one take the front? Because that's still technically four people. We've just kind of laid one of them down. Yeah. It's it's definitely the person at the back is definitely kind of cramped. You've got your like legs stuck up in front of you, but you it's 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 workable. Um, and with that, the car can you know pull out of the garage, and you can start to drive across the bridge uh the night of arkham is you know shining above you um you will arrive with a couple of hours before the bakery opens and i just want to verify your plan your intention is to go straight there and then to uh to report basically just wait until it opens yeah. and then make a make a report then and then and then the body is not really our problem anymore okay fantastic that makes that makes perfect sense all right it's the pleasure of you start to drive over and i'll ask you both to make a spot hidden check <gasps> before we move across okay so great if you succeed your spot <laughs> hidden check uh can i push it um how bad an idea is pushing that let's come back to you being able to push it because first of all we'll jump across to wesley and see like exactly what is in happening the front seat is looking into the water he's like oh boy i think i see a seal down there or something <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> oh it's spot wesley fuck that <laughs> <laughs> it's not to spot Wesley, no, unfortunately. Oh, okay. um, <laughs> uh, Wesley, um, yeah. Uh, can you give us your 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 best classic movie impression of like dead body washed up on the shore that goes <gasps> and wakes back up? <laughs> uh, um, 
Yeah. So I, th I think I mean I think he's he's com he's completely pale. He's got a bit of like some gunk or seaweed or whatever jammed in his hair. Uh, the coat is completely open and the gun's like slightly unholstered and clearly seen. Uh, he looks dead to the world until after a beat or two, he finally breathes in again. His rickety little ribs begin to rise and fall. Um, he looks pretty bad. You force yourself up, shivering, trembling, trying to get up to your feet. Uh, you are soaked, you are drenched, and you are frozen to the bone. Um, I'm going to give you a choice here. Uh, I'll, you can either take a D4's worth of damage, and that is like the accumulated cold, the stress, everything that has happened to you, or um, you can make all of your physical skill checks at half until you get a rest, a good meal, and some warmth. D4, please, and thank you. Okay, fantastic. Yeah. Okay, all right. I'll take the other one. <laughs> all right, so I'm um, wound. We're okay. All uh, right. I think I I get I find like I drag myself up, um, on my feet, lean back and and crack my back as I look across the water, and for just I'm just like, am I on the right side of the river? Or do I have to swim back? <laughs> uh, make a luck check. Oh God. Come on. Come on, I don't need this today. Okay. I'm on the wrong side of the river. <laughs> God damn it, you current piece of shit. Uh, Take like a rock and I chuck it into the water. Um, I'll tell you what, Dave, do you want to push this? Uh, not if, if you succeed, maybe you are on the right side. If you're wrong, not only are you on the wrong side of the river, your gun's gone. Uh, <laughs> no, I like that. I'm happy being on the wrong side. I want to get okay. my gun. I All think right. I can make things worse with the gun. Okay, fantastic. So you, you collapse onto the ground, staring. The sun has risen now. It is ah. morning. <laughs> and you are, you are, you are gazing. How much, how much health, how much damage have you taken collectively? Seven I am damage bloody. now. Okay, perfect. It's a good metric. Um, you force yourself up. You look around. Why, where to next? What's the plan? You're soaked, you're still half naked. I'm freezing cold. Okay, all right. Are we gonna... We said we were gonna meet by the river. So most likely the others are around here somewhere. Uh, okay, all right. I just need to hitch a ride with them. And then we are across. Everything's coming up, Wesley. Um, I pull myself to my feet and I get towards the main road and I'm going to begin to walk along it, looking to all intents and purposes, like just a rough sleeper or something. Um, and I'm going to try and spot... Uh, first, I'm looking for the Kellys to see if yep. they're here. Otherwise, um, I'm going to look for like a car or something uh, that I could maybe... Actually, in theory, no one's watching. Are, are there like several bridges across the, the there river? There are like, several are bridges, and, bridges? And, th and they haven't shut them down. You can walk. It's just like a really miserable stroll yeah. across. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm, I'm, I'm going to head towards one of those and move across. As I'm doing it, I am looking for the Kellys, but I'm aware. Yep. But, sorry, I and you're trying to, you're trying to head here, to the bakery. So just... Yes. Okay, cool. Sorry. Yeah, so you, you're keeping an eye out for the Kellys. You're having a look around. You are kind of generally aware of what's happening, so I'll get you to make a spot hidden check just because you're you're noticing things. Yeah. Hey, that's all right. Okay, so as you start to move through, you are going to notice that it appears the police presence is dying down rather quickly. This kind of incident, you would have expected the cops to stick around, maybe to, if you jump down, there'd be boats searching for you. Um, oh. Maybe, yep, up here. In theory, because they, they would have gotten called in for like a noise, like like for shots being fired. I They saw me running. I'm not necessarily like, Unless, unless like a, because there's been no killer or anything, right? Like they don't, weren't they just called in for shots fired rather than? Like they were called in for shots fired, but after having moved through, they would have found the state of the apartment. Oh yeah, uh, sorry, the cold, uh, right? Yeah, so so you know, there's people downstairs who have like destroyed their house, and there's the other things up in the other rooms that you uh, did not get into and did uh -oh. not get to see, which they have. Um, and they're very disturbed. Um, it looks like something absolutely berserk has happened in here and they're really trying to figure out who there. But, but that said, while you make that connection with the spot hidden check, it does seem like the police are dropping interest relatively quickly. Okay. Right. Curious. So that's I mean, you... that's that's a better result if they've seen some freaky stuff as opposed to going in and being like, oh, everything's normal, just a regular old, you know, like hit, you and, hit and steal, robbery gone wrong. Yeah. At least now they know something freaky's going on. Right. Yeah. Well, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a good point. Um, now they, of course, 
after you killed the uh, the Sticky Jack, the house returned to normal. So there is something oh. freaky going on, something terrifying going on, but they haven't necessarily witnessed mythos elements oh. yet. Okay, never mind. That's what I wanted. It's, not, it's <laughs> like there are multiple apartments that have been torn up, and there's like one dude's apartment that has like blood and shit. Like they're probably going to be like, this whole place was a crack den, not like this one person's apartment was real bad, and now we have concern. Like we we're gonna have concerns because there's blood. Yeah. But there's also like multiple ripped up apartments. Like something went down in this place, not necessarily in that apartment. Mm. That's true. Good thing we spread the chaos out a bit and showed up that other woman's apartment. Yeah, oh, got a, got a. We done got good. A, exactly. We done good. A quality in all things. Wonder if um, she made a. If, wonder if she threw boiling water at them as well, or if she chilled <laughs> out once the haunting I stopped. I would. I would wonder if she continued breathing after the fact. Yeah. Um. So the meanwhile, as you are making your way towards the bakery. Um, you know, it's already it's, it's already morning for you. The other two of you arrive while it's still nighttime outside the bakery, and you were going to sit around and you were going to wait for O'Leary to arrive. We talked about pushing that spot hidden roll. Um, you are starting to get tense, uh, Eddie, and you 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 feel like right at the end of jobs, right at this t time, this is when things can be at their most wrong. Maybe you think back to the job at the bank that got you in trouble with O'Leary in the first place, and you're thinking how just when you were about to get into the safe, you didn't notice something um, and that, you know, brought the entire operation down. You start to get restless, not exactly fidgety, but just paranoid. You might decide to go and do a tour of the area, just a scan, make sure that everything is fine. If you pass your spot hidden check, you will notice something. If you fail it, maybe it'll notice you and not it. Oh no. Okay, I'll take that risk. All right, Whoa! fantastic. I mean, I mean, fuck it, drive it like you stole it, right? Keep exactly, going. make a spot hidden check. This is your pushed roll. Oh, oh not no. fantastic. So you start, you you kind of turn towards um, uh, Wendy and uh, towards Chains and uh, gonna gonna go for a walk and you, you you get out and you decide to do a couple of tours of the block that the bakery is on, just make sure that you're not spotting anything um, uh, hanging around. As you are walking down uh, the street, uh, the back alley that leads into um, the bakery, a car pulls in and parks. Unfortunately, you are just not noticing things at this point. Your, look, your mind is elsewhere and you gaze around and you miss it. The figures inside note you and they start to chat. You go around and then on the second pass, as you do another tour of the block, which for you is just double checking, you notice that the car is there this time. But as you do, you hear the noise of footsteps and you can suddenly see some people approaching, uh, some from the car and some from behind you. They've clearly been waiting for you to do another tour. Um, they're an odd looking bunch, uh, a collection of uh, figures who don't immediately look like gangsters, uh, seem to like look like normal people. They're wearing, you know, the slacks and shoes and regular shirts, um, but there is an uncomfortable look in their eyes. They all look pretty focused on you and they're tense, they're jittery, they're excited. They're the kind of person that you really don't want in a heist with you because they're liable to do something dangerous because they're so damn wired, except for one of them. One man comes out and stands tall. This is a man who is wearing uh, a suit. He's got this like sardonic smile on his face. And as he walks forward, you can hear a southern drawl uh, come out uh, from his throat. This would presumably be Jacob Smith. And he will say, well, howdy there. Uh, just a moment of your time, please. Is this to all of us or is he just found uh, This is just Eddie. found Eddie. Mm -hmm. You're at the you're at the back of the alleyway, and there's a, there's there's a, apart from him, there's three others, small cars, you know. Do you 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 okay? You stop and you ask him. Um, he says, "I'm just uh, aware that you might have encountered a a friend of mine who uh, you see, I, I paid for some. I, I'd like you to return my property. I don't got your property." Well, uh, that's unfortunate. Where is it? I'm sorry. Who are you? 
Oh, my name's uh, Jacob Smith. Uh, I believe that you ran into an associate of mine, a housebreaker. Associate of yours? That'd be my guess. I can put uh, some things together. I'm also aware that a couple of people who meet your descriptions have been asking around after me at some of the speakeasies. I don't drink. Right, well, it's very God-fearing of you. Uh, where's my, uh, my effects? You're gonna have to be more specific. Where are the items that were taken by the housebreaker? I am the housebreaker, how am I supposed to know? Listen, uh, do we need to do this dance? I think that he's he's glancing around. Now he seems pretty convinced, but he doesn't seem 100% certain. You can make a fast talk check. Maybe you can talk your way out of this. I'm not really trying to fast talk. I think I'm trying to, I'm, I'm Eddie. I stonewall. You if stonewall, anything, it okay. is probably closer to like, it is closer to intimidate. It is closer to like, do you really want to go there? Because we can do this dance and you are going to end up a fucked, my friend. Oh yeah, sure. Make an intimidate check. That's awesome. I love it. Now I don't have great intimidate. Oh, okay. So well, I mean, you're outnumbered at this point. So, but yeah, let, let's, let's, uh, let's see how it goes. I would give you luck. Ooh, that's that. close. Yeah. Okay. You, you, so a couple of points of luck. All right. 11. So, yeah, I will absolutely give you 11 points of luck for that to succeed because Eddie has had enough of this shit. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, the. With a, with, a, with a success then, they all glance at each other. Jacob Smith looks cross and he's staring daggers at you, but his followers look a little nervous, look a little tense. Uh, they're not quite sure how to handle somebody who is sort of willing to throw down in the way that you are. And you can see that there is this awkwardness. Um, uh, Jacob looks across the collection of them uh, and he smiles uh, and he says, all right then. Uh, and he turns back and he steps aside motioning to allow you to pass. Um, how, how much, like, how much space have I got to move on to uh, how far away am I from everyone else? So you would be walking down the middle of this alleyway. Uh, there's two people behind you and then him and one other person were in front of you. So he's moved to the side. So you can walk down this alleyway and you can get out to, to the end of the alley. You would be not quite within arm's reach of them, but if you were to lunge, you might be able to get at them. I will... Um, I will pull out a pocket watch that I have on me. It's my treasure possession. Um, I will know when you reach in your pocket, they all reach into their pockets as well. I will slowly pull out a pocket watch, click it open, check the time, close it again from the same pocket pull out a packet of cigarettes and then just leisurely walk past right you stroll past smoking uh the the, the like minor gay like uh followers are like this is pretty cool this is beyond their their experience jacob smith is is tense um and as you move forward down the alley you see him turn towards his followers and they start to follow you they're not being subtle about it, they're walking after you. You reach the end of the alley. What would you like to do? I'm going to start could... heading back to the others, just leisurely continuing on, like keeping an eye on them, kind of, kind of making sure they are following. Yeah. Okay. So they begin to make their way. You so you begin to make your way back towards the others. Uh, meanwhile, they are uh, moving just behind you um, and are getting closer and closer. Uh, towards the car. Inside, uh, you can see what is happening now, Wendy, and you see a group of people following Eddie towards you, and Shane starts to go, oh no, oh no, oh no, as, as, as these people are approaching. He can tell that something is tense. You know, these people still have their hands so, in their jackets. I will make this point. Eddie does not smoke often. In fact, it's probably like Eddie only smokes when there is like tension and shit's going down. And this is like, 
Hey, Wendy. Get lucky ready. This is the warning. I absolutely love it. Fantastic. So as you move closer towards the car, inside the car, Wendy, what are you doing? What is your plan here? Just uh, unclipping the trombone case. All right. Chain sees you doing that and goes, oh, geez, and starts to like uh, reach for the <laughs> levers in his seat and try to wheel like the seat <laughs> down <laughs> to, to get like, you know, into cover. Puts on the hazards. Yeah. You're telling me you ain't packing anything, Chain? I didn't. Th I thought we were driving towards. <laughs> He's getting lower and lower. Um, meanwhile, uh, across Wesley, you are starting to make your way towards uh, the chaos in the. Um, uh, the the ensuing chaos that is soon to begin, and I'd like to see if you arrive at the right time. Is is Wesley kind of hustling here, or are you sort of uh, taking a like I, I, taking a, a slower route? Are you kind of looking around? What what's in your mind? Uh, so when Wesley uh, got out, um, I, I think he was a bit panicked, but now that the cops are gone and stuff, he's kind of uh, reset to factory settings which are uh stupid and self-absorbed um so uh he's kind of just wandering along not super rushed what i wanted to do is if i can find um like if there's anyone about i want to try and get a change of clothes um, absolutely yeah you could you can it occurs to you that you should, you could stop in um at one of the speakeasies uh you've got some friends you were there drinking the other day and you even paid off part of your debt to um <laughs> Uh, uh, to to the the bodyguard outside. You could start hanging out. That's it's like, fine. You'll get there. You'll get there. That seems like a real stupid idea. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll be giving someone, I don't know, like um, homeless or something. Uh, I don't think I'd want it. No, I think I think I'm like walking along, going through back alleys and stuff, and making my way straight towards the 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 bakery. I'm working on the assumption that if the Kellys weren't there, they'll be here. Yeah, um, you can have particularly. Yeah. I'm I'm like sticking to shadows. Um. I've but not like do you want to stuff. do you want to make a luck check just to see uh if you've if a couple of things actually we'll see we'll see what luck check. success you get but ciao okay fantastic no. um so you did no, manage to though. as you were going uh towards the um bakery pass by like a clothesline with some clothes on it unfortunately they were just like far too small for you um uh it just just did that ma ma managed to suit and uh uh you're heading towards the um uh, the bakery now, and you're not going to arrive with perfect timing. Um, but uh, these these folks have been waiting outside the bakery for a while, so you will arrive as uh, you, in the distance you start to hear the sound of presumably the ratatat of gunshots. Okay. Meanwhile, back what in the middle of the street? Well, you're getting out a machine gun, so you know what 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 <laughs> what am shotgun. I to assume? Shotgun. Uh, uh, shotgun. That's right. Yeah, I mean shotgun, Kelly. <laughs> Um, so, uh, the four figures, uh, begin to approach, uh, you, as you go directly to the car, right? I'm presuming, Eddie? No, no, I will at the, like, cause the car's parked kind of next to, close to the building. Yep. I'm going to get to the edge of the building, um, like, make eye contact with the car and then quickly step around the corner, like a one, two around to get out of the line of vision between the car and this group of people. Um, and I am going to nonchalantly lean up against the wall and continue smoking while slipping my other hand into my pocket and uh, getting a grip of my butterfly knife. Fantastic, can you make a stealth check for me? Sure. Oh, 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 fantastic. Oh, you <laughs> you like wave, you're like, oh, no, they're here. And then you slip in, you're completely hidden. Uh, the others uh, get around the corner. What are you hoping to happen when they come around the corner? Are you hoping that they go, oh my God, he's gone? Or are you hoping that they like see the car and head towards it so that they, they like expose their backs to you? What's the, uh, what's the perfect outcome here? Perfect outcome is I'm out the way. So if and when Wendy takes a shot, she has a clear line to a group of people relatively closely bunched together. And once that shot is taken, I can come in from behind and stab them in the spine. Okay, yeah, that's um, that seems like a pretty good plan. So you have cleared off to the side and with a roll like that, it all works. You're ready, you've got that angle. Uh, the spine is in front of you, uh, alluringly, um, as these uh, 
uh, four figures come forward. Um, you can see what's on Eddie's mind. Wendy, what are you going to be doing inside the car? Um, I mean, just getting the gun out, right? Not yep, much you- else to do. I, I, I don't want to talk to these folks. I, th- I think they're just going to give me nonsense. And if there's one thing I hate, it's nonsense. It, so if, if none of you leap forward or engage for a moment, what's going to happen is they'll move into the center of the road, look around, and then they'll spot people in that car and they'll come towards it. That's going to be like, so you have the jump on them for the moment. Um, you're not going to get seen, Eddie, because you're, you're, you've are you like All pulled right. yourself into an alcove, uh, but they will they will find you. Before. If, they haven't spot, if, they have, if they haven't spotted it yet, I'll jump in the car and lie down with the with hold, holding, holding Lucky to my chest. Okay, uh, make oh, a hell, stealth check for me. Knock on the window. Yeah, that's that's what oh, we're going for. Are we doing fucking snatch? Like what is this? Of, the ending of snatch, where they just roll down a window and like shoot big, whatever his name is in the face. Oh my god, the stealths are pretty good. Or two off extreme as well. Would you like uh, two points for an extreme? Um, yes, I would, and we'll say that, that, that we'll we'll say that extreme is um, you 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 next to you. You reach out with one hand and push down um, <laughs> uh, chains as well. Fantastic. <laughs> With two extreme stealth successes, they come round the corner, and the three of you have vanished. They kind of look um, back and forth, and you hear um, uh, Jacob Smith kind of mutter to himself for a little bit. Then he goes, "Shit, shit!" Ah, and kicks up the the ground in front of him. Turns, uh, breathing heavily. Um, his followers are sort of uh, trembling. Um, uh, then eventually, he kind of throws his hands up in despair, and he says, "All right." Back to the car. Uh, get everything we need. Uh, we we need to be done before the before everyone else arrives. Uh, hurry! And they start running back towards the alley. What? So you, you, you well you hid from them. They don't know where they don't know where you. Fantastic! To. Outstanding! Yep. They just ran away. Brilliant. Well, they ran back to their car. They they're gonna do a thing, which is probably not gonna be a good thing. That's all right. They ran away. That's all right with me. All yeah, working But then perfectly. what were the gunshots that Eddie heard? Uh, exactly. Uh, they, oh, I do, well, you avoided them. The gunshots were uh, <laughs> the, the, the sound of an effective plan landing. They were the sound of the Kelly twins pulling a, pulling a job together. Why do um, I hear silence? <laughs> um, at this point, um, they leave the two of you kind of catch your breath for a few seconds and at this point a rather bedraggled wesley is gonna like turn the corner and start footsteps (laughs) yeah just in the like the the silence of the like uh you know only recently broken tension as you're all waiting you just hear as you start wandering through into the center um you can see the bakery yep uh, absolutely um you can see the bakery. It's still shut. The people will probably be arriving at about <laughs> these two uh, are both half critical an hour. extreme success into the windows or whatever. So I just think the place is empty. Uh, yeah. I look. I stand in the middle of the street, looking around. Damn. Where the hell is everybody? All right. Well, guess I'll wait here as good as anywhere else. I walk over to the bakery the and I try the front door. Yeah, he's pretty near the car. Yeah. Is um, he near where I am currently? Like just. Uh, he when he, he will be when he gets to the front door. So really? you head up to the front door to try it, and you go up to hold the handle. It'll be locked at this stage. Um, I'm doing that thing where I'm trying to like it's got like shutters down, but I'm trying to get under and peek in the edge. I'm going nails, <laughs> nails. Eddie, are you are you are you making any movements or uh, taking any action? Uh, I will from the side go. You know, they should probably start calling you moist. Fuck! <laughs> Eddie, good to, uh, good to see you. I presume your better half is somewhere here? Yeah, she's in the car. Good. Uh, body? Also in the car. Okay. I'm, I'm waiting. I'm waiting in the car until the door is open so that we can just sprint inside. But uh, good, I won't, won't emerge well. until then. We got everything we, we need. Know. Let's just, I mean, sun up soon. They should be here so, any moment. Yeah. So we to be know. clear, there, there's like no one is in the building currently. It's still empty. People haven't arrived yet. So you're going to be waiting what? for a little bit. They don't even keep like a lookout inside we or anything? We should control our territory better. This is uh, that's, shameful. That's irresponsible. Uh, you know, it's, it's between it's the three a, it's of a... us. When I'm in charge, there's going to be some changes around here. We're going to, we're going to look after this sort of stuff. There'll be people on call. 
you got a safe house. You, pe you leave people in the safe house or whatever, the front. You know, on account of cops and whatnot. You, you so, done them, Grady? Because uh, we, we do have a problem. Oh, yeah. What's uh, What kind of problem? Oh, you know, Jacob the Mission Smith. But we got the mission. We did it, right? Jacob Smith, the dude who uh, owns a church. Yeah. And I'll, like, nod my head to what I can only assume is another car, like, parked relatively close to by with people it, they, in it, or? They parked down the alley. Oh, okay. So, okay. So you have like, to head around to the back. Nod the towards building. the alley and go, he's down there. Why is he here? Why do you think he's here, O'Grady? For us? For his stuff, yeah. How the hell do you know we got it? We only did that, like, a few hours ago. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say, for the same reason that the walls were moving, he knows some Wizard shit. shit. Alright, okay, alright. So he's around there. Uh, what does that mean for us? Colleen, do we, do we just want to hide? Wait till some more crew rolls around, or do we want to go over there and, you know, knock on windows, make a statement? You're the boss. Okay, my leadership has gotten us this far. I squeeze the bottom of my jacket, wringing some of the water out. My leadership will get us the rest of the way. There's no point hiding. O'Grady's don't hide. Let's go make a statement. You want to uh, get Wendy and Lucky, and we'll uh, we'll go over there and force show us strength. You said O'Grady's don't hide. We ain't O'Grady's, so you have fun. Okay. Cool definition of leadership <laughs> seems like a lot of responsibility <laughs> and not a lot of power but uh okay all right you and wendy stay elsewhere then hide whatever make sure that you have the dagger and the dude so that he if he grabs me i can say ah you don't know where the stuff is you kill me you'll never find it you know that kind of play sensible don't worry o'grady we got your back mm -hmm. you just ain't gonna go and make a statement for no reason all right as demonstrated uh, uh, I, I, uh, shit, I, I, I had to, I had, to, I guess I had towards the alley. Uh, okay. Wait, wait, where's Wendy? Where's, where's, do it, can you point her out to me? She's with chains. Okay, in the car? I, I wave at the car. Uh, <laughs> 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 Comes up. I will, um, I will go and, like, knock on the window. Be like, Wendy. We can get this body inside. I know. Wesley has got a plan. What's the plan? I, I head over so we can we can we can coordinate. Oh yeah. Thank I'll... goodness. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Perfect. So as the collection of you prepare, the two of you sort of getting round the near the mouth of the alley to to um, uh, hang about, and the uh, 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 then Wesley, you getting ready to head down. Um. Uh. I'll, I'll mention quickly. It occurs to you, since you were wondering, you 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 mentioned that. Uh, sorry, uh, uh, Smith mentioned that word had come from you asking at the speakeasies about uh... him. So presumably, word gets back to him. He knows that there's people looking into what's happening with Sticky Jack, and that prompts him into some kind of action. It might have been as simple as, okay, well, I guess I will hang out around the hammers. Uh, office until uh, somebody rocks up um and you know legitimately just wait we're for like you. a big gang aren't we sort of you, you so the, the as, as i mentioned at the start the hammer is a new lieutenant He's like a lieutenant uh, in like a larger gang yes but he is if, if you want to get detailed into the uh into into the 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 sort of um politics of it politics of the gangs he's still kind of trying to establish himself this is where people will try to challenge him so yes it's a risky Real move movement. it is only something that you would do if you are particularly desperate or particularly crazed uh and you know a bunch of churchy cultists in cthulhu i'll let you pick uh which of the two they are or both <laughs> also i just i know that we got the name jacob smith um we didn't ask about him directly. We, we were looking into his shit, for sure, and we got his name, but I don't think we ever were like, hey, tell us about Jago Smith. You, you, um, asked, oh, you, asked, who, you asked who um, uh, Sticky Jack was working for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, 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 it, it, I, I can see that filtering through. Yeah, that makes sense. I was just like double checking that I hadn't missed anything. So what are we doing? 
Well, here's my read on it. He's muscling in on our territory, posting up and making demands. I say we go over there and tell him to, you know, shove off. Yeah. All right. But we're going to need more muscle than just the three of us, aren't we? I don't know. You seem pretty handy with the shotgun. He did, he's not going to want to go to violence unless, he's, unless he thinks he can win. We take out one or two or get a gun in his face. He'll call them off pretty quick. Additionally, especially if they're all stuck in that car, that's, you know, one on each side, but a bang. One other consideration, if you don't mind. Mm. We really want to be making a scene in front of the hammers. Fair point. Well, I guess we just post up here, wait until someone comes around. So I if, don't have a problem with getting him, telling him to fuck off, but... As you're planning this, you will start to hear the sounds of movement and action Thank coming goodness. from the alley. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, as you gather about at the at the at sort of entrance peeking around, you will see that the, the, the figures are not sitting in the car waiting. They have gone back and they have started to pull out, uh, you know, heavy coats and uh, what look like large jimmy bars, uh, and they're heading towards the door and they are trying to break in through the back door. Oh, look, it's oh. an assault. I didn't realize they hadn't left. No, 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 they didn't drive there the whole drive time. Away. They, they went well, down back to their car, and then they've come through, and they are currently breaking their way through the back. Well, that we're simply like, won't like do. In the car, just looking across the street at them. <laughs> no, no, no. It's, so there's a there's a building in between. So you you guys are on one okay. side where you made your plans, and they are down an alley behind the building. Getting this. Oh yeah, I don't like that. All right. Uh, well, they haven't spotted this car, so the body and the knife is safe, and as long as Chain yep. sits here, you can get him away. Uh, I have a knife on me currently. Even I better. Knife, but I can put it. I can put it in the car if we want to trust that that's all good. Otherwise, I think having it on me is probably a safer bet. Up, up to you though. Can I? Um. Can I? I like. I lit, roll down the window and lean rudely across the passenger seat, ignoring chains. And I, I go for his like glove box, and I want to see if he has any like loose papers in there, like documents or just unnecessary yep. stuff. Hey, hey, it's full of stuff. It's like piled out with things. You can grab some yeah, yeah, papers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I grab I think a, I know I where you... a bundle of papers. And I, I think and I know I, where you're I, going. Hey, yeah. yeah. I reckon you do. All right, well, Eddie, uh, you hold on to the knife. All right. Oh, no, 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 hold on, hold on. Eddie, you hold on to the knife. And uh, I keep the papers we took in, the, in Lucky's case. And then as soon as shit goes south, Shane's, you hightail it out of here, right? tear off screaming into the night, maybe flash some of those papers that uh, look like the ones we stole. If we're lucky, we can split them up. You want me to You want me to go running? You want me to grab papers and run away? And they, what, they'll chase me? Yeah. What do I do if they catch me? Yeah. Wait, it's, hold, hold <laughs> on. Why don't we just, why don't we have Chains, chains leaves with the, uh, the legitimate papers in the body and he can come back later. I'm going to hold these fake ones and just use them as like, you know, I'm going to see if he calls a bluff. I'll, I'll hold a light up to him and say, hey, keep walking and I'll burn these. You see the ashes. You know, that's all right. I like it. I like it. Can I borrow some I of lighter? I don't smoke. Fantastic. In which case, um... I would like that back. You will get it back. So Today. you... <laughs> mm -hmm. So the collection of you gather up and you uh, head towards the alley after having given the actual artifacts to Chains and he darts, uh, you know... No, um, except the dagger. Except the dagger's the dagger. on me and I'm pretty sure the other paper's still in Lucky's case, in which case you probably still have those unless you want to leave that in the car. Jackson. Uh... No, I'll take the case. That could be useful. Okay. So we do have the legitimate papers on us? Yeah, we want to keep them on us, right? Yeah. And I've got a fistful of uh, receipts and like napkins from a takeout joint. Yeah, yeah. exactly. All right. Um, so the collection of you move forward towards the back of the alley and you can see that they've broken through now and they appear to be going inside and um, you can hear the sound of like stuff being like tossed over. Um, all of the lovely rising bread, of course, it will be tossed uh, you know, to the ground. What a waste. Um, but as you come forward, if you're, if you're not trying to be hidden, one of the goons is going to spot you as you come close. So uh, bakery I'm too. Like... They should, even if this was a legitimate business, they should be here. This is unsuccessful on so many fronts. <laughs> well, no, it's the, the, you 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 drove here in the middle of the night and you've been waiting until the early like morning. It's like it's like four thirty at this point. Like the pale mm. like uh, dawn is like arriving. It's still the middle of the night. People will be arriving for to start baking within the next few minutes. Mm. All right. Um. Do. 
are we going in all of us visibly or is it like if i was to hide or something like that is that is it yeah i can go for it all right i will I like attempt it. to be hidden but i uh we'll see see what the dice say okay fantastic in which case make a stealth check for me oh Switch. very nice good god all right um, so you uh, dart away towards one side, and the other two of you are going to start strolling down the alleyway. Mm. All right. Yeah. Uh, case... my, my aim is to be in a position that, should I need to stab someone in the spine, I will surprise them. You duck down, and you manage to actually like scamper behind the car, the empty car, where they, they pulled out these, um, uh, you know, crowbars and things from, and you're crouched there. The thug sees the three of you, so the two of you approach, uh, and yells inside. You know, they're here, they're here, and. The, a few minutes later, uh, people come uh, bustling out. You can see Jacob Smith walks through the door, sees the two of you arrive, uh, and he, he's like eyes shoot down into a frown. Um, uh, he ra raises up his hands, uh, and uh, he's going to say, hey, none of your business going on in here. Why don't you... Uh, that is our business. Here? Step away yeah, from we, the door. We own this spot, guy. Yeah, so it, it, it also makes sense that he doesn't necessarily know that you are with... Um, uh, the Kellys, although so you you are with Eddie, Eddie, although you do have a dramatic familiar resemblance. So why don't I make <laughs> why don't I make a check for him and see if he I picks mean, we, up on we're, that? We're I, we're saying we own the place. Like I think we're we're, we're yeah, but he might he team. might just think you're the gangsters that are arriving for the bakery. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um. So let me make a check on his behalf to see if he picks up that you are with the the housebreakers essentially. One moment while I bring up here's a character sheet. <laughs> All right, his eyes narrow and he immediately notices oh, the what? Uh, uh, the resemblance as he kind of scans across you, uh, spots um, everything that's happened, and, and more more importantly, he spots uh, that you have a collection of papers uh, in your hand, and he's. Oh, so you've, you've, you've it's like, it's jammed, like, it's like jammed up in my pocket, but yeah. yes, he would, he could, he yeah. could too. Especially with eyes him. narrow, uh, and you, you see like tension start to like rise in his body, and he says, "What have you, what do you got there?" Hey, which one of you is the boss? The mission? that's me. You're talking yeah, to me, Jacob Smith. That's right. Okay, well, uh, I think I got something of yours. Yeah. Yeah. Well, why don't you hand it over? Well, see, the thing is, the guy who got it for you, he works for us, and he owes us dues on that. I can pay for him. Yeah? How much? What's it worth? How about... And he kind of glances his men as sort of tense at this stage. How about a hundred dollars each? I'll give that to you right now. The same for us. It's for our boss. He's going to need more than that. Well, Where's I don't have the rest. Actually... Sorry, so... where, where's the last game? We did ascertain the the actual cost of yeah, like, the, the items that were stolen, right. so we probably know how much we would need to pay in Jews if we were to have nicked this. Yeah, absolutely. Um, uh, Jews, to probably probably like somewhere between five hundred and a thousand bucks all up would, nice. would would be the correct amount in Jews. Okay. That said, okay. um, that's that's in proper Jews. Uh, you know, uh, uh, the hammer actually asked for the items back, which sure. are probably worth sure. a bit more than that. Yeah. Mm. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, you owe us at least one lodge for the items alone, and on account of treachery, and now we can't rely on Sticky Jack anymore. I think at least another five hundred for that, for the you know, for the each of ours damages. Problems. I'm gonna point just at Wendy and I. Yeah, fifteen hundred. Well, I can do that, but uh, I don't have it on me now. Why don't we talk and you hand over part of it and I'll give you a down payment and then we can move from there. That makes How sense. How much you got on you? Just under 400. Okay, well, bring it over. We can do a trade. Um, he kind of looks towards uh, his followers uh, and he seems to be thinking that eventually he nods and he says, empty your wallets and his followers kind of <laughs> come out and open up and start uh, piling pills together. He gets together um, a fistful of bills um, and then he uh, looks towards you. Obviously, he's kind of uncomfortable in this situation, but he tries to sort of peacock to get around it. He puffs up his chest and he stands back. He walks forward towards you and he holds out the money, he gets quite close. 
Yeah, so here's Staying the thing. I'm planning on uh, on screwing him over. So do I? Need, I think I should make a persuade check or uh, something because yeah. I'm I'm trying to get him into close range and like. Okay, for sure. In which close case, close shotgun range, um, I imagine. In which case, I'd like you to make uh, for me. I think I think this would be a either a charm check or a fast talk check. Charming can him into thinking. Persuade? That you're... I'm trying to make a deal. Yeah, I, I can also see. Present myself as like I'm the big official boss guy. Okay, sure. Yeah, make a persuade. Look at me, striking deals and sundry. But dip, mm, five points. Five points. Five points of luck. Uh, if with, that will uh, get it his... for me, if it's harder. With a regular success, he will get close. Um, he, you know, he seems tense and he seems ready to go. Uh, you're not going to get any particular advantage here. He's not. He won't be surprised if you try to double cross him. But he's he's come forward. So that the Would uh, I possibly some surprise him with a with a with a hard. Uh, with a so yeah, with a, if you want to actually get him completely unaware, I think it would take a hard success. I will give you another twenty points. Twenty points of <laughs> oh, luck. A big I investment. All um, right. In Let case, me know when the money changes hands. Uh, he seems yeah. pretty confident that you're that you're up for the money. Um, and at the very least, even if he doesn't think that you you might try and screw him over, he doesn't think you're about to attack him. Um, so he comes forward, he holds out the money, and he hands it towards you with a big smile on his face. To be nice. clear, the layout of everything is now him and his three followers are back by their car, which Eddie is also crouched behind. So you're pretty close to the three at the back. Uh, he has come forward and he's standing in front of the two of you. As the money yeah. changes hands, I say, and here's your change. As the oh. trombone case falls away and the shotgun flies. Hell yes. Fan friggin' tastic. Okay, so we're gonna go to dexterity order. Uh, he is gonna have to make a psychology test to see you attack because he is completely surprised and because of the uh, uh, bonus that you put here, he is gonna take a penalty die to this. So I'm Hell gonna yes. make a psychology test on his part. Ooh, Ooh success. Penalty, penalty dice. Ah, yes. Oh, yeah. Nothing. That's He's a good a sign, spell. isn't it? Get him. That's right, very I'm well just, done. I'm just going to uh, roll just psychology roll again. again. Oh, oh no. same uh, twice. His eyes narrow, smart. and as you bring it around, we are going to jump directly to dexterity order. Can I get you three to send your dexterities to the chat, please? Uh, plus 50 for a ready firearm? Um, it wasn't readied as such. Oh, it was oh, inside a case. I said I unclipped the case. I had my yeah. hand in it. Oh, that's even better. I had my hand in the case. I was unclipping right. it and I so, had it on the trigger. So, the, so okay. I, 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 the point of having a gun inside a case yeah. is so it appears non-threatening. Yeah. If you yeah. had a shotgun out, they would have behaved very, very differently. That yeah. said, this is kind of your thing. If yeah. you want to, if you want to have a the shotgun through, I will, I will, you yeah. can fire it, but you will have a uh, penalty die because you're going to be firing through the case, basically. Ready with the penalty is cool. I like Reminded, that. Reminder, there are some rather sensitive things in that case. <laughs> oh, that's true. And yeah, like, I'm so sure, cool. I'm sure Jim wouldn't, wouldn't inflict that upon us unless you fumbled or, you know, or, f or failed, but. I think. I gotta do it. It's so cool. <laughs> it's so cool. For the extra dexterity, just because it's so cool, I gotta go it's off so first. Cool. It's so cool. All right. In which case, I'm gonna uh, do it to beat his beat his psychology. Fantastic. You are the first to act. Uh, here's your change. And what would you like to do on your turn? <laughs> Brilliant. Okay. And the penalty dice. Oh, oh is, he within, is, he, is he within point blank? Because he got super close. Like, would he have? Yeah, he is within that, point or? blank. Yeah, all right, fair, fair. In which case, um, that's true. So, I guess yeah. it, no penalty. Yeah, so no penalty. So fantastic. So billion damage. Fifty-four. Uh, uh, eighteen. Eighteen. <laughs> that's two Did sixes. <laughs> I rolled two um, sixes. Okay, fantastic. He let me let me have a look at exactly what he's going to do here because Die. this is a. He, <laughs> there's a hint. I, I, he's he's thinking about it and he's decided <laughs> that no, he he's going to have some mythos nonsense. They he, did have. They did at least have jackets on, so I reduced it by one. Yeah, he's decided that he'd rather not die. That's fair. Oh I my god! That. Don't shotgun! Don't shotgun my 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 cool salad drawl and. Dude, um, all right, he's gonna die for cover. This ain't the south, this is Arkham. 
<laughs> he is going to fail. Uh, Eat cement. <laughs> He looks to move to one side, but you track with the gun and boom, it explodes out of the case. His eyes go wide. He indeed does have some mythos bullshit, but none of it is defensive. And the Wait, shotgun what? blast catches him in the chest and sends him tumbling God, backwards. Uh, he slams into the side of the wall and falls down. Uh, the uh, money, which, you know, he kind of held a pinch to uh, a couple of shreds of it and you've got the rest of it in your hand uh go scattering across the ground his eyes are still wide as he begins to gurgle and uh, his followers yell in absolute abject panic so over to use that, uh it is immediately eddie's turn get him loich uh it's a quick question i have a butterfly knife that is just a standard knife would a ritual dagger count as a big knife a ritual dagger? I think at this stage, sure, absolutely. Let's say it's a uh, big You're gonna summon a fucking dark spirit or something. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh my yeah. god. Get I some mean, blood on it. Good idea. Oh no, Whoops, why it's not? a shambler. I think, like, I think Eddie just, like, kind of goes, wait, I've got a butterfly knife, and then realizes there is a fuck off massive dagger in the back of his, uh, his, his uh, belt, uh, and goes, Fuck it. We'll toss the uh, the cigarette down, stamp it out with his foot, and then go and stab one of them. That's standing. Sick. All a right. Large knife is one d8 plus damage bonus. Okay. How many you of these dive, dudes are there? You uh, there are so you there were four of them because car can only fit four. Uh, you've killed one, one three. of them, so there's three left. Um, uh, you the, you are diving out. These people aren't surprised, but you are diving out from being hidden, and you're like taking them by surprise. So you could have a bonus die on the attack. Uh, I will... Eight. Not that you needed it. Oop. 40, 42. Okay, fantastic. So you leap onto one of them, uh, who shrieks in panic, and they are going to attempt to repost you. Uh, would, would giving you two points... Can I spend luck in this? You can, but you have to commit it before he makes his roll. Yeah, I was just gonna right. say, I'll make it hard straight up. Okay. Points. Fantastic. Oh dear. All right, well... Let me fix that. Oh no! Oh, no. Uh, so you dive out from nowhere, swinging with this knife, and uh, in complete shock, uh, this person who fortunately doesn't have their uh, melee weapon out at this point uh, socks you hard, and you feel a crunch as your head uh, snaps backwards. Uh, you are going to take uh just 1d3 just a single point of damage um as you uh, stagger backwards uh and we will go across to then their turn um they are the, the furious at this point they begin to yell they begin to shriek their 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 their, their master has been killed two of them at the sides are going to pull out guns and they are going to raise them and they're going to aim them towards you, Wendy, because of course they are. Um, the other one who has been engaged with you is going to reach into the folds of his large jacket and pull out a, a large knife of his own, some kind of machete. And he moves towards you, swinging it wildly. You can see tears streaming down his face. He's clearly Aww, devastated um, at what has occurred. Yeah, how, how could you do this? Um, so Very he is- easily. I killed your no, well, There you go. So he's going to make a brawl check against you. Are you going to dodge or repost? Um... My my brawl is sixty. My dodge is thirty two. So, okay, fantastic. I guess so brawl. brawl? All right. I, actually, not yet. Sure, I'll repost. Fuck it. Repost. Who cares? That's a failure on his part, and a success on Dead yours. So your knife comes up, uh, and you can roll your damage. Ritual. Oh my place. god, that is a nasty, nasty hit. Uh. Uh, he staggers backwards, uh, holding at his side, manages to maintain consciousness, but this is a major wound. Uh, and you can see his eyes widening as he looks down, blood uh, beginning to spurt, like spread across his side. Uh, the other two are <laughs> going to open. Yep. Like, go, and that is why they call me Loach. <laughs> I make other people walk. Ah, uh, <laughs> perfect. I love it. Good timing. Mystery solved. Um, now, the other two of you, uh, you can choose to die for cover if you would like. One uh, is on yeah. the way to us. Um, no, I, th I think I think you just fired with a shotgun. I think they're both going to aim at you, Wendy. 
That's fine. I would care to die for cover. All right, please make a dodge check. Dodge. But. Yeah. All right, you throw yourself <laughs> sideways onto the ground, but you do not manage to apply a disadvantage. Um, and uh, yeah, you're you're not taking any shots, um, uh, Wesley. But you can dive for cover still if you'd like, as as, well, as, as you did last fight. It would be fun to just say like shots are going in this direction. Who dives for cover? Ah. Yeah, that that that's not a bad idea. I might try that next time. Uh, but as things are, boom and. Both of the bullets whiz overhead, oh, oh, oh. Uh, missing you, slamming against the wall. These people are not crack shots as we now jump across to uh, Wendy. It is your turn. Uh, I think Wendy it's me. Went at the top of the... Oh, it's, 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 uh, it's your strike. I got the... Or, has, Eddie had a, has, has Wesley had a turn? Wendy, Wendy no. already went. Wendy raised their initiative. I was first. Oh, you raised your initiative. That's right. Okay. So in which case, uh, Wesley, please. Uh, all right, I uh, I pull out the fistful of napkins, I slam it down on the guy's corpse, and I go, it was napkins, you mug. <laughs> uh, and then I go for my pistol, uh, I level it at one of the followers, and I say, this is old Grady territory. Uh, <laughs> surely a slip of the tongue. Uh, and I, I go to shoot, nothing happens, and I squeeze the trigger, and then I realize the safety's on. <laughs> oh, what and a callback. I, oh, I click it off, and then, uh, and there's still a good chance it's waterlogged, so maybe one shot gets off. Um, make make a handgun check. That's so funny. Uh, boosh. Oh, Ooh, no. not so Ooh. good. Uh, the bullet whizzes past overhead. Neither, none of that. Neither of them dive for cover. Uh, they're too busy uh, howling um, and yelling. And after you, we will jump back uh, to the top of uh, the initiative. This is why you never means... turn your safety on, kids. You'll miss your shot. Exactly. Timing um, changes. Uh, and we are Wait, now I, at... That, I'm assuming they're not in point blank range of a pistol. Of a pistol? No. You guys are kind of firing from opposite ends of the My alleyway at each either. other. Mine is 10 yards, so that has to be pretty close. Yeah. Um, so now uh, we are back at the top. Uh, Wendy, I'm not sure if your dex resets now. I would think so, your, right? Your regular no, points. It resets, no, it doesn't. It resets. It's just it resets. The yeah, round. I thought so. In which yeah. case, uh, the first to act is going to be uh, Eddie. Loich. Loich. And there is someone loiching right in front of you. Dig him in the spine. Okay. Ooh. All right. You dart around, avoiding the front, and jam out with your butterfly knife, please. I know with the with the dagger. With oh, the, the dagger, of course. One. That's right. The big dagger. Because I'm assuming it's like, if it's ritual, it's got the nice serrations on it. So it's like a real uh, nice, just, uh, looking, you know. My back's hurting just thinking about it. <laughs> Ew. Excuse oh my hell god. Yeah. Excuse me? Oh what? my do, god. Do knives impale? They do, don't they? Yeah. Uh, they do impale, absolutely. Right. So that's, that's an eight plus, let's see what I roll. What? Big knives do 1d8, so it'd be 1d8 plus 8. Is that not how impale works? Woomsh. That's a whoomsh. Impale. Yep, roll your extra d8. 13. Okay, plus so a damage bonus if you got one. Don't have one. So no. you, you, he, he, you, you, he did not have even 8 health left, so you sink yeah. the knife in and he surges up and ah, tumbles forward to the ground. Can I, uh, if I got him in the back, like kidneys and then i want to like twist it near his oh so it, ah. like like goes through ligament and nerve and possibly you know even if he was he was definitely not going to walk again which you know namesake he <laughs> he falls straight down to the ground splat uh, uh, unmoving uh, as the other two um uh, followers uh, gaze around um they are utter fanatics willing to die for the cause um and they will both spin about um and fire another set of shots this time they are going to fire one shot um at uh, you killed their leader so they're going to fire one shot at you wendy and you just killed another one of their friends so they're going to fire one shot at you the kelly twins both facing a bullet um you died for cover previously would you like to die for cover again i sure would Okay, now you are aware that you're I, I losing think, your turn when you die for I cover. Think, well, I think, oh, at least the whole turn, or is it just... Wendy's already lost her turn, in theory, from the last one. Yeah, you, you that, that's uh, right, so you might not even... I thought you, it I don't was just can... uh, a penalty die, but... Uh... No, unfortunately, diving for cover is a real... Yeah, yeah lose, it's a, it's lose, a, it's a big, it's a big deal. That's, that's fine. I'd rather live... 
Okay, that's fair Can enough. Can I dive again? Is that all right? I think that since you've lost your turn, you actually can't. You need to have your turn available to be able that to dive for cover. Um, I will. I will stand here and be shot. Oh dear. Um, and <laughs> uh, Eddie, will you be diving for cover? Um, if I was near one of these, am I close enough to repulse the one trying to shoot at me? Uh, I I don't really think so at this stage. You would kind of engage with one of them and the other three they were spread out a little bit so i don't think you're close enough to repulse no if they're shooting at my sister there is no way i'm giving up my turn to not go and stab the one that is shooting at my sister so no i will not be dodging good on I'm you i'm not be diving for cover we'll see how that goes all right the worst well, decision i've ever made insta death well let's see first we'll say the shot at you first eddie and see if you are insta dead Okay, the bullet okay, whizzes past right, your head good. and impacts against the wall behind you. Meanwhile, the already somewhat injured Wendy uh -oh. is going to be tagged. A tragedy as the bullet uh, flies forward, this time uh, smacking into you. Let me get the exact damage of this weapon. I like it this. A 32 revolver, which means it does. The queen. Seven points of damage. That is awful how That's are we looking hit. i had eight hit points oh good god but it is a major oh. wound of course make Ooh. a constitution check i'll make constitutions check to stay conscious i'm pretty tough constitution oh no so what does taking allowed. the hit look like to you wendy like what happens you die for cover you're scrambling back to your feet and then yeah, um, I probably like take it in the you know the fleshy part of the shoulder and then make a make a show of going down, tumbling to the ground, and uh, feign unconsciousness. Okay, fantastic! You fall and you ah, lie on the ground. You're like I could pretend to be out of it, but your vision is swimming, and you think, oh, actually, I am going to pass out for a moment. <laughs> uh, but you do manage to hold it together. Um, as we end the turn of these two gangsters, we move across to. Wendy, uh, but your turn is missing because you died for cover last round, and we go straight Indeed. across to Wesley. Okay, uh, I want to go striding towards the gangsters. Can I get within point blank range as I walk towards them? Yeah, you can. You can move close enough to get there. Yes. Okay, as I go through, I look down the barrel of the gun. I go, "You waterlogged piece of shit!" Um, spin the uh, spin the chambers again. Uh, level it at uh, whichever one just shot Wendy. Uh, Fantastic. I'll shoot, I'll shoot. And them. you can shoot with a bonus die because, of course. Uh, you have moved into point blank range. Okay, that's a success. All right. Does he want to dive for that's cover? It's, uh, did no dive for cover. They are too busy trying to shoot. They are going to make a constitution check since Hang six on, is wait, a major wait. wound. Oh, okay. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Bang! Straight in the chest. This one collapses like a sack of bricks. There nice. is now only one of them left. Uh, alone, looking back and forth, and you get this sort of absurd look. That I said they were dressed in kind of normal clothes. This guy has kind of like a dad sweater on, uh, but is like howling like a demented zealot uh, as he waves around his pistol, and it is now Eddie's turn. Fuck you. Lunged him with a knife. Perfect. <laughs> Make for me your uh, brawl check. So mm -hmm. He reposts. <clears throat> and a regular okay, success is good. not enough as it I've matches got... and the weapon lands. Roll your damage. Six, which I believe, if it's the same, is a major wound. Yep, and a fumble boom, on the boom, constitution. Boom. boom, boom. And the other two collapse to the ground. The alleyway grows quiet for a I'm split second. I'm going to... Go. It's a good knife. Uh, <laughs> slot it, uh, like wipe it on one of their jackets, put it back into my pants, um, and then I'm going to attempt to stabilize the two of them because I feel like the hammer is going to want something to hit. That is fair. Uh, so the two of them who are down actually don't need to be stabilized. Oh, cool. They are unconscious, but they are not dying. Um, and you can grab the two of them now. Uh, the there have been gunshots fired here, but the local authorities have some knowledge of this area and they know that if there's a little bit of chaos around that particular bakery, they don't stick their noses in. Additionally, you know that you are only probably a couple of minutes now from the people who are employed at the bakery arriving uh, and they will be getting here soon in the early morning. As I mentioned, bakeries are opening quickly and with the door busted open, the collection of you can drag the bodies inside and you can uh, hold in place and 
kind of shelter until at last the bakers come through and O'Leary uh, will not be long behind. Is there any preparations you would like to make before you prepare for your conversation with O'Leary, your full report, uh, and see what happens? I would like to secure the hands of the two people who are currently unconscious but may not be for super long um, and make sure that uh, there is minimal blood on things that belong to O'Leary where possible. Fair enough. Uh, Wesley, Wendy, any moves? Wendy oh. is not looking good. Concentrate and not dying. <laughs> okay. Oh fuck yeah! Do you need like first aid? Because I might do that instead of the. No, I'm still say I'm still stable. I believe I'm not dying. Just uh, got one hit point. Yep, you're just really badly Ooh. hurt. Okay, I'm gonna secure the hands of the other two and then first aid my sister maybe. A little okay, bit. don't fumble. Oh fuck! <laughs> <laughs> you already had three crits. Yeah, I mean my first aid's only thirty five. So if, do you want me to try and you're give you an extra hit point? It. Uh, no, okay. I'll be fine. I will, just, like, <laughs> not mechanically, but narratively, I will go and attend my sister. Yep. Just stay still, Wendy. Jesus, if you move, it's going to be worse. Don't want your nonsense in me. Fair enough. Don't and... nonsense. I'm trying to make sure you don't bleed out and die. Just, just don't move, all right? Stay there. I like that Eddie is so much more verbose and tender with the, his wounded sister than uh, with everybody else in the world. Uh, which makes sense. Um, Wesley, any any final final moves? Uh, yeah, I, I just like the the image painted of like as when um, O'Leary or whatever gets back in here, they're gonna go to open the door and find it broken as it swings a jar. Bread and things have been like knocked back, and there's a trail of blood leading towards the back room. Inside, he finds two knocked out. Uh, uh, cultists, a couple of corpses piled in the back. Sticky Jack is on his table in the like uh, the wrapping, but just unfurled, and the papers are jammed around it. With the knife still held bloody in Eddie's hand, who's leaning on the back with Wendy. I'm spread eagled on the ground, exhausted and half naked, soaked in blood and water. And I found the most uh, hardcore sounding snack there, which obviously uh, like a pain of chocolate. Uh, <laughs> and I'm like loosely trying to eat it as I just like mumble. Yeah. <laughs> it's an incredible sight. One uh, that will surely go down in the mythos of the gangland scene in Arkham. The uh, bakers will arrive soon and nails shortly after, closely followed by O'Leary. The What you are bringing to this man, I'm assuming you're handing over everything and are being pretty honest about what happened. Yeah. It, fantastic. In I which mean, case, I am. Yes. <laughs> it's, it's, Great. It's, it's in which case, here. yeah. Including, in which case, I think, I think including the money we just got from the people, I think I've got that just like slapped down on the table as well. Uh, in which case, you have achieved. Really, you've done exactly what the I'm hammer wrong. asked. O'Leary was specific. He wanted the artifacts back or the money. Uh, he we wanted uh, you to figure out what happened to Sticky Jack. Well, he's here and he's dead. We killed uh, him. You, you, Jacob Smith, that guy you were worried about, we killed he's him also too. dead. <laughs> he is one of his gangsters, also dead. And he has two of his assistants. We did this all in this crazed, hectic way. Uh, it is, <laughs> you're all looking strangled and close to death. It's far from the smooth criminal activity that you might hope for, but it is the trademark of uh, the, <laughs> the, the, the chaotic methods that the three of you employ. You did it with a lot of style, but you did get it done. Uh, and O'Leary will, before organizing for you to be taken to a hospital, Wendy, will thank you. Oh, oh, he's just a big softy. The mm -hmm. artifacts are taken. Uh, the the big softy uh, takes those two prisoners, and they will never be heard from again. Uh, you are both the, the the kind of three hundred odd bucks that were paid for are split between the three of you as payment for your work. Hey. Um, and uh, before you uh, get away, uh, you know entirely, um, uh, Wesley. You know you've been given a, a you know a, a spare shirt that was hanging around at the back of the, uh, the bakery in a cupboard. Um, uh, 
the, the uh, oh, 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 um, O'Leary will say, uh, so, you know, who, uh, the other two, they went to the hospital, because of course I'm assuming, Eddie, you, you would have accompanied your sister. Um, it went well, plan went fine. Good yeah, workers, yeah, the Kelly I mean, twins. Real good, yeah, loyal. Uh, they get, you know, you give them jobs, they get it done. Uh, I wouldn't say there was a plan so much as just a kind of unending uh, train of chaos, but uh, we rode that train, boss. We rode the hell out of that train. Well, that's good. I'll tell you what, you know, Sticky Jack was uh, hanging around uh, in the, that apartment block because you told him where the location was. I presume because no one really controls that area. And as an expansive uh, titan of industry, I think it's about time someone like me stepped in and did so. So, why don't you and the Kelly twins make sure to represent my interests in that area? Answering to me, of course. You clear? Oh, real clear, boss. Real clear. And uh, you, you, you give us a, a chunk of land, and we'll, we'll, we'll run the hell out of it. All right. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll hold up your virtues. We'll, we'll pay you your dues. I mean, we see what happens to those that don't know. But real, real clean, boss. Real clean. Good. I don't need to tell you what happens if there's missed Jews. He raises an eyebrow, uh, and uh, I look to the I camera think... and I wink. Perfect. <laughs> and with that, uh, in a car heading forward, Wendy, with your head resting back, you will survive, and you'll even get a cool scar on your shoulder. Oh, yeah. Uh, Eddie, you didn't get to keep the big knife; you had to return it. But uh, it will. You'll, you'll always have the memories of the badass lines you spur spurted out when you got to kill him. I mean, I also just got a hundred bucks. You telling me I can't go somewhere? Can get a nice big veg hunting knife for myself because I, I enjoyed that. I I must admit, Wendy, I, I, I must admit I enjoy that a little more than I think I oughta. <laughs> this is the start of uh, something very terrifying. And Wesley, uh, you've been given some power. I'm sure it will only be a couple of days before it all goes to your head. Fantastic. And with that, uh, the disaster that was Jacob Smith will fade from Arkham. And that is the end of the Missed Jews scenario. Thank hey. you, Phil. Wonderfully hey. done. What a Amazing. disaster. I can't we won that. <laughs> Miss I Jews had a lot of. My favorite thing, end of sentence, was Jackson clearly reading one line in his character sheet and committing. <laughs> <laughs> he clearly, like, right before we started, he went, "No nonsense, I can run." No with nonsense. That. <laughs> that's all you need. That's the uh, that's the key to playing good characters. You just dial them down. I like. Try boil them down to one word. Eddie's whole thing was, "Don't talk," and just yeah. glower at people <laughs> until yeah. they leave you alone. If it ain't broke. So Miss Jews is one of two scenarios in the Keeper Screen Pack for Call of Cthulhu 7th Edition. It's a great uh, resource which comes with a bunch of player aids and all sorts of interesting stuff. You can pick that up at chaosium.com. I'll say quickly thanks again to Sirenscape and to Roll20, tools which we used throughout the game. Uh, and thank you to all the wonderful cast. Thank you, Dave. Thank you, Art. Thank you, Jackson. And thank you to thank you, everybody. Ooh, of course. And thank you to uh, the audience. Thanks for watching. We will be back uh next week but i think i'll hand over to uh uh dave to talk a little bit more about the exciting things that are on the horizon for us shit i thought this was coming uh yeah so <laughs> next week we are jumping into a new longer campaign which we're very excited about we've been preparing behind the scenes for a little while and uh you know now we can we can share it with you all uh we are going to be running a time to harvest which is the <laughs> brand newest uh release from chaosium the pdf came out last week or so um and we're going to be uh burning through that so we'll be starting next week in the same time same place etc these three are playing Miskatonic University students who are going to be trudging, trudging, trudging out to uh, rural Vermont where things will go wrong, undoubtedly. It's going to be chaotic, it's going to be scary, there's going to be all sorts of good stuff, so uh, make sure you check that out next week and everything will of course be up on the YouTube shortly after. Thanks everybody, see you next time. Can't wait. Yep. <laughs>